Good morning internet. It is Saturday morning, 7 o'clock and it is June 17. It's time for our yearly adventure. I'm just heading out, uh, leaving the house right now and heading to meet up with all my friends. Uh, as you see, the start of the trip, the weather is not cooperating at all. And uh, where are we going to go? I have no idea. It all depends if we get across the border uh, from Canada. Uh, that's the plan right now. And uh, we have about a four hour drive uh, from where I am right now to the uh, American border. So keeping finger crossed, uh, let's hope we, they will let us across. Uh, as that would be our, our priority and, uh, and a favorite uh, to get out to United States. Uh, we have been playing this for quite some time. Whoever is following my channel uh, probably has an idea what I have in mind, but I'll keep it secret because I don't want to jinx it at this point. Because uh, um, there's a big chance that uh, we may have to ride in Canada. Uh, if they will not let us across but uh, one way or the other uh, we have uh, 12 days planned on this trip and uh, there will be five of us uh, hang on uh, there's two Roberts then there's Bogdan Mariusz and me so yes there's five of us so we're hoping to have a great time one way or the other um, Everything is uh, not working for us with all the pandemic. Uh, three years in the making uh, to return to the place where we were. And uh, we haven't had any luck uh, so far. The restrictions were just too crazy to get across the border. And Canada mandates are uh, a little bit too much at this point. It's uh, pretty much post pandemic at this point. But anyways, uh, I won't film it too much before I get to the border uh, because I did have all this in my previous video uh, or videos uh, when I was crossing the border to United States from here. Uh, there was two different times uh, that I crossed. Once when I was uh, heading out to Glacier National Park and the second time when I was heading deeper south. Uh, into United States. So anyways, let's uh, take a break here for a bit. We'll stop somewhere along for a coffee and uh, I'm supposed to meet up the guys in Nanton at 7.30. So, which is about 40, 40 minute drive uh, to meet up with all the guys. One of the guys, uh, Robert, in front of uh, in front of me. I just got up to him uh, just a couple of minutes ago uh, before we got to Nanton. And uh, one more thing, guys, uh, to help my YouTube algorithm, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the video. That always helps uh, for the YouTube algorithm to push my content through. We're approaching Nanton at this point. And uh, I don't know if anybody else is there yet or not, or just me and Robert. Uh, Marius is, as always, riding a little bit behind. Uh, he called me as I was already on a, just leaving my house. And it was raining, so I told him I'm not waiting because uh, I'd rather be moving when it's raining than uh, waiting. So the original meeting place was in London. And that's what we are approaching right now, so it will be time to get a coffee and carry on. It would be nice if it would be slightly warmer, but it's supposed to get warmer later on, hopefully. 
because right now we're sitting only at 15 degrees. When I left the house, it was uh, 10 degrees Celsius. And there's the market. That's where we come to get our fruits and vegetables. It's always nice to get uh, fresher, more organic stuff from the high-rate colonies out here. Doesn't look like anybody else is here. So we made it to Nanton, meeting everybody. The boys are right there, having a first coffee before we start heading down to the border. The bikes are all packed up ready to go everybody's ready it's gonna happen we don't know as always unplanned sort of planned Those are the bikes that are heading on the trip. And now it's just a matter of we're gonna be able to cross that border. That's our biggest worry at this point. The rain stopped and we have a blue sky. Bonus. Ah. The boys are happy. We'll be more happy after we cross the border. Absolutely more. That's the biggest challenge of today. Yeah. Walk down. <laughs> That's all the team approaching left bridge. And it's a pretty cool bridge up ahead. It's for trains. Unless it's some kind of a pipe, maybe it's not a bridge. Welcome to left bridge. Yay. Check out this water tower, holy moly, that's old. It's the first time in Lethbridge that I don't, don't feel any much rain. It's actually, I mean rain, uh, wind. Microphone. So we are approaching the border. Yeah. Yeah, come before the storm. Okay, we have a lineup. All right, guys, so we made it across the border and we are the first stop at duty free, close to still to Canadian side, but that means we're closer to Utah. The boys are taking a quick break before heading back on the road. So we made it to Montana, but we separated at the border because the boys took a different route 
and they'll meet us uh, uh, in Utah near Moab uh, in a day or two. We're gonna head straight down towards Salt Lake City uh, with Mariusz and then we meet together. Uh, today we're gonna try to do about uh, three, four hundred more kilometers because this is straight up. Uh, there's nothing, no major obstacles uh, before we get and hopefully by tomorrow night we will be able to get to Moab. That's the plan. If that will happen, I don't know yet, but always staying positive. Same thing as uh, try to stay positive before crossing the US border. And they let us all through, all five of us. So that's a bonus. So another worry is gonna be when we will be coming back, back but that's later to deal with. Right now we gotta enjoy it every moment and have fun. Look at how much water there was. It was like a salt or something left over. All the... It, 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 the here was raining as much uh, as it was in Calgary probably. Look at all that... All that straw is uh, in the water. That's those heavy rains that we had for the last week. Approaching Shelby, Montana. It will be time to fill up the bikes and grab something to eat. fried chicken and a couple of potato wedges and we're good for another till the evening now uh, we will have to look for a campground uh, probably in about uh, four or five o'clock I would say maybe even six uh, depends how far we will be able to get to today uh, we're not gonna push it uh, we have a lot of time it's gonna be quite interesting still uh, and I open all my zippers. <laughs> oh well. Time to leave Shelby, Montana and carry on. Your American flag on the horizon blowing. Woohoo! And we're gonna get caught in that too, not only them. went through the crazy hail unfortunately I was too busy holding on to my bike because the wind was uh, so strong I thought it's for a minute it was a tornado uh, and always uh, whenever you want to film it the camera is not on of course but now we just got over it I'm soaked with my uh, waterproof uh, jacket and pants all the zippers were open and it, it caught us like all of a sudden and uh, the, the hail was so strong, I, I had the water literally uh, below my butt on the seat uh, because all the zippers uh, were open. Anyways, uh, we survived that part. I wonder how the boys are doing uh, out west there because they probably got into a bigger part of it. And now we are approaching Great Falls and uh, here we're gonna stop for a quick coffee before we continue further. So we just got on the other side of Great Falls and it warmed up right away. It's past 30 degrees Celsius. But the wind is very powerful, I'm pretty sure you will be able to hear it in my helmet. It looks stormy again. And uh, we will be heading now towards Helena and approaching the mountain range again. We'll be getting into the mountains. 
and after we get to Helena we'll be looking for a camping spot for the night all dry now after being soaked through the zippers staying dry now it's pretty cool view here check this out it's called the tower rock right on the right hand side in front of me there the campground and the slow river beautiful area I'm pretty sure that river is still cold at this time of the year wow. oh yeah there will be uh, quite a few actually but nothing nothing crazy but look at how nice it is here like so different than Canadian mountains the highlight of the day so far. Pretty beautiful, very nice area, very nice area. It's so different, the, the mountains are so, so different than uh, our mountains in Alberta. The right hand side, Kudus. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, kudus, like the like the one that we have around Van. But those are more solid rock, than uh, ours are like made out of sand. Oh, look at all these people chilling on the river. I have no idea if they're fishing or they're just cruising down the river. Floating down, I think, uh, with the, because it's a slow current. complaining about this road well I'm pretty sure it's gonna be nice over there where they went too like I'm not doubting that but wow let's check this out holy crap can you imagine can you imagine all the digging here? My goodness. And uh, reaching the meadow. That's a south butte. Yes, so we made it to Helena and now we'll be, have to do another pit stop to gas up the bikes 
I went by quickly and uh, in this high wind it's burning a little bit more than it's supposed to but it is what it is and then we, after this uh, we get out of the city we're looking for some camp for the night it is 33 degrees at this moment wow that's unbelievable So we blew two hours, two hours in Helena and uh, now we have a little bit more to go. Basically we had just a meal here, a quick meal at Taco Bell and we'll carry on in search for a campground for the night. Uh, it's time to wrap it up slowly as it is getting later. It's uh, 6.30 at this moment and uh, I want to set up before it gets dark. This guy here is taking so forever to do everything. Skręcaj uważaj tylko w prawo. Dwa w prawo. So it's 6.30 right now and we will be just leaving Helena and heading towards Butte and hoping to find a campground. That's uh, uh Yep, come in. That's a must to be. Galena Gulch Campground Alright, so we have a, found the campground for a night, it's a recreational site in Montana Guess what? It's even free! <laughs> so we didn't have to look too long this time Our friend is setting up probably already and there we are I'm gonna turn around so the motor is already or the was on eh? so here we are we made it to the campsite I have my tent already set up he's still setting up his now it's time to pack up the mattresses and sleeping bags Unpack it, I mean. The highway is just above us, that's kind of bummer, but and it's a main I to see. There's only a few people here, so it's not overcrowded, just perfect. We are about half an hour south of Helena. A lot of people with dirt bikes and quads. <laughs> <laughs> 